Hey y'all, welcome to weekend vlog part two. In part one, you saw me and C venture outside skating and whatnot. We had a great time. And this vlog will just be a continuation of that day. We'll be going to brunch. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping at Marshall's. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. All right, y'all, so we just made it back home and just check this wig real quick. Look at this little, this little bob, y'all. I'm almost sweating in it. But this lace, this little HD lace Altrey's talking about. Okay, it's, it's actually legit. I'm here for it. It's, it's blending nicely. I think the parting is a little wide right here. I would fill that in a little bit, but this vibe is so freaking cute definitely get her okay so now i want to show y'all something new that c got that is about to change the game okay babe show them what you got oh this is my baby now this thing i will say is worth the investment it's like 300 something dollars i got a coupon code off of fully rock christina's page mm -hmm. and this like what is it it's a nama juicer a nama juicer and so it's a slow juicer instead of like the faster ones mm -hmm. and then also because you know, like most time when you juice stuff the, it just continuously streams out right this thing has a stopper so then you don't get all that foam and then you're like you know quickly oh like, slowly release stuff. that's yeah. why mm -hmm. and so it just turns in here until it masticates oh okay. and then you make this open close type thing and then some of the little you know stuff comes out but i mean this is probably the easiest to clean like it's i love this thing and it's so fast and it's it's how fast is it how fast is it <laughs> <laughs> i will say the only thing like i like I mean, the cleaning takes like five minutes. I don't, I don't know, but like to make the juice, I will say, you know, when you see those recipes where it says like five. Uh, Hold on, what just happened? Go ahead, babe. When the recipes say like, add five um, apples, add two things of celery, add three things of this, and it'll equal up to sixteen ounces. This shit equals up to the sixteen ounces. Wow. Like, and so that's why I'm like, I feel like this will be better for me, especially like counting calories and such. This thing I juiced this morning was something where I was a little hesitant because. When I was searching online, no one said anything about it. And like, I couldn't figure out how to make it taste good because I made it. I was like, this thing stinks. But it's fennel and pineapple. Fennel and pineapple. And it's bomb. I had some too. And mm -hmm. I must admit, it's good. It's like the best thing. I will tell anybody, don't waste your money doing the $100, the two, maybe, I don't know about $200, but like, I just think you, you'll realize how much you waste if you use this if you ever see one of these things and then you see your pulp is all wet and like i mean you're throwing it away it's like all your nutrients are getting juiced out so this thing grade a winner 10 out of 10 10 out of 11 Ooh. 11 out of 10 <laughs> you know so y'all heard see the juice is bomb i've had the juice from it so far and i just love like i'm amazed by the fact that there's like no frothing from it so if you're familiar with juicing and you know how that is and if that's something that bothers you and if you want to retain more juice mm -hmm. like when i say retain i mean like double the amount then you may as well it's pineapple oh, this is the pineapple one yes look at you and i strained it for the babies of that room oh my god <laughs> what okay <laughs> hold on <laughs> see first of all C made this pineapple juice for me and she knows that I'm very very particular about pulp so she strained it for me as well thank you Such a clap. oh my god it's good right I'm so impressed I'm like impressed by Yo, the juicer this, this is what they sell in the stores for like $12 the juicer and it's a cold press juicer it's a cold, yeah 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 mm -hmm. mm. I love this thing it's the best right alright alright that's enough <laughs> mm. okay y'all so I'm gonna leave the link. <laughs> I'm wow, that just blew my mind. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the link to that juicer down below. Yes, is of a high price point. C said in the three hundred dollar range. But if you go to the influencer Fully Raw Christina, she's a fully raw vegan. She's the one that has a coupon code for this juicer. So I will find her channel, link it down below for y'all, so y'all can get y'all coupon in case you want this juicer. I have never really been into juicing or never really tried it for real for real myself but C has done it for like a long time and she pulled out one of her old juicers from storage mm -hmm. and was juicing but she was like 
I need to step it up a little bit. So got she got you. this more expensive one. And I just, I agree with C because there were some things where it's like, you have to, if you're going to do it, you may as well go hard. Like yeah. get the highest quality version you can find yep. in order to get the best output. That pineapple juice is busting. <laughs> Like what? Uh-uh. Let me look. Let me uh hit up. What's that juicer Dough. called? What's that juicer called? Oh, Nama. Let me hit up Nama so we can work together. Cause that juicer is popping. I'm telling you, when I do my morning routine, I'll be like, yes, how to make some juice. <laughs> <laughs> Someone started off the message because Howard made an announcement, uh -huh. basically saying that homecoming is not gonna be hybrid. So what's that mean? Basically, like some of the main events, like Yard Fest and the Tailgate, are not happening anymore. They're still gonna have the football game, and then I guess they're gonna do some virtual events. I don't know, but it's not gonna be a full <laughs> homecoming. So, some virtual events. Some people were talking in the homecoming chat. I mean, in our class yeah. of 2011 <laughs> chat. Huh? We probably should. And they're like, hey, can we have Just some 10 year anniversary here and stuff like that? Oh. And they're also trying to plan like our own event. Since Howard is no longer doing like an actual, events. yeah. So looks like we're gonna plan our own event or something. Mm. I would like some 10 year anniversary gear. Like, god damn, it's my 10th year, and fucking COVID is ruining it. Ooh. Think about people who went to college this year. Think about I that. I know. I would hate to like this thing have to start a college. It's like, what's happening? See, is using this this device, right? Which normally is pretty cool, but. Is this supposed to be tracking us? I think so. I think that's what was going on. I think I couldn't figure out who to track. Mm -hmm. And you were throwing it off. I think that's all it was. Oh, I was throwing it off? Yeah. So I think we're fine now. Whatever. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. we're fine now. So right now we are in the neighborhood heading to brunch. Actually, the brunch is walking distance from here. We've never had brunch at this spot. Mind you, we've been living here for how long? A long time. <laughs> so... Be interesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting. But as you can see, there's a reason why. Out and about. There's a reason why. Oh, we're not showing this place. <laughs> we don't like this place that's coming up. No, no one doesn't got to see it. <laughs> yeah, everyone comes here all the time. And there's a line. Right. It's actually full. I see people who are actually sitting outside. That place is poor. Food's not good. There's always a line, and uh, food is pretty bland. I think I've had. One meal there that I like. <laughs> the Maybe. Brussels sprouts. Yeah, the Brussels so sprouts. What they is the have going for them is the fact that they have the outdoor seating, so it's like that ambiance, and they try to make it very work from home friendly. Yeah, but it like, is pretty work from home friendly. It is. But other than that, I it's definitely just went like, in there a few times. Oh, you did? Yeah, I definitely did. But, but like they used to have a cute little happy hour, but since they don't, they close at 3 p.m. now. Yeah. It's like that's the only thing I was really going for. I don't even think I went for a happy hour. No. I like their little sriracha wings they had. I never had those. Yeah, they were sticky and yummy. Are so we sitting down here or where are we sitting? Mm, I don't know. Where do you want to sit? I think you should sit down. I think we should sit down here. Sit down here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it doesn't switch. No, that's not true. I would It doesn't turn around. So we made it to brunch. What do we have here? I got my brandy French toast. Mm -hmm. I got hash and bacon and eggs, scrambled and some garlic knots. Those garlic knots, I did not expect them to look so good. Yeah, like, I, was, I was a little greedy. Ooh, yes. and I got the hash with no pork belly. So we about to grub real quick. This looks actually really yummy. Mm. Oh, and this mimosa, this is the blood orange mimosa. Is it tasty? And strong. <laughs> Do y'all like mimosas? Comment down below. I don't like mimosas. If you are at, if anyone no wonders. No one asks, but why don't you like mimosas? <laughs> so it's usually cheap champagne. And I like orange juice. Mm. So I just keep drinking. And it's not a good look. Not good. No. Catherine? She's the type of person, it doesn't matter how much she drinks, she never gets a hangover. Uh -uh. Like never. Uh -uh. However, the one time I saw C <laughs> throw up, <laughs> we went to brunch. That was one time. That we went to brunch like three years ago. Look, one we went time. to actually one of our like go-to spots. I don't know what. I don't know why you threw up. You only have a 
because and we were boy, drinking we were drinking champagne on the way over there and because homeboy was like literally like every time i like he was messing with me oh you think he was after yeah him? no 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 he was that was like when what's his name nemo whatever oh we being, yeah. it, was, it was something fun he was like he was being nice or whatever but it was just not nice <laughs> it was not nice you walked out there yeah i I walked maybe like 15 steps. 15 steps and went straight to the bushes. And went to the bushes. Like I couldn't, I could not, like if something came over, I've never felt like that before. Yeah. Never. I've never had that feeling. So yeah, that was weird for me knowing that, you know, she never gets sick off of drinking at all. The joys of living in the city. <laughs> I hate people say stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> this place is down the block from us, but we never come Never. Here. It's actually really good. DC is a brunch city, like. Everyone that's been here knows that. These people don't know when to stop. No, seriously. If you're not from here, or you haven't lived here, you come to DC, you're like, oh, we're going to brunch from like 12 to 2. No. Yeah. It becomes an entire marathon. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, <laughs> just like that meme, you're sending texts at like 5 p.m. talking about you up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, if any of y'all have been to DC or even from the DMV area, please let me know. Shop yourselves out. Literally, like it'll be like brunch, hookah, then a, 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 a small bar, then the bar where everybody's hanging out, and then a little after hour spot, then the after after hour spot. Like, yeah, it's a mess. Due to COVID, that slowed down a lot. I don't participate in that lifestyle anymore. Oh yeah. She swears she a changed woman. Mm-hmm. You're a cup woman now. <laughs> I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a stay-at-home um uh, oh, stay at home wife. That's what I want. That's my dream. You a stay-at-home wife. Stay-at-home wife slash board member. Slash uh, stock. Kind yeah, of sir. Yeah. Mm hmm She's really into stocks. Yeah. She's trying to get me more into it. Actually, because of her, I did purchase my first stock from Apple. When so they, proud. When they split last year, yeah, she's really proud of me. So proud. I bought nine shares, and I'm like, ooh, I'm doing something. So proud. I ain't looked at it since, but I'm proud. <laughs> I'm proud. You know what? I don't have to be good at everything. You can handle the stock stuff. Huh. Listen, why my therapist say yesterday, you be a jack of all trades. But you don't master anything. And I was like, you know what? Beat it. <laughs> I was like, okay. You gotta start uh, mastering things. I'll, I'll master the. Uh, I'll master the stocks. Mm-hmm. You master these wigs. Yes, ma'am. Master making this money. <laughs> okay. We can both do that. <laughs> Clown. I know. How's it have? I need some hot sauce. Like the making of it is good, but. You could have told me when I left the house. Oh, true. When I say we live down the block, y'all, like, she walked and came back. I yep. should have told her to bring some hot sauce. You know what I want to do? What? An ASMR video. I don't watch some things. But Why I do you want to do it? I don't know. You smack loud, so people will enjoy it. I yeah, so I feel like we should do that. <laughs> I told you that meme where it was like the the if, I, if your girl don't eat like this on the first day, I don't want her when she yeah, eats crab she legs. <laughs> nah, I was like, that was a glass with the snow crab legs when we first went to Hot and Juicy. First of all, I got the king crab. King crab, whatever, king crab. You my bad. The snow crab. Cause I didn't know the difference. And here you go with some seventy five dollar plate and like. <laughs> oh, I was fucking it. I up. was like. Why am I going to look like that? Like, <laughs> I'm like, you got the itty bitty snow crab. Okay, like, it was king so crab or nothing. It was so funny. Mm -hmm. And after that, she knew better. I did not know. So we are back from brunch. Brunch was actually surprisingly wow. good. I enjoyed my stuff. I enjoyed everything I got. We are both foodies. Yeah. She is actually a bigger foodie than I yeah. am and definitely more critical. That's a and if solid she says that she's something's good, you know it's good. Solid so spot. we'll definitely be back there. Mind you, it's only like two blocks away. <laughs> but better late than never. And also our server there was mad cool. Brenda. Um, yeah, love her. So I guess now we're continuing Sunday fun day now. She was like, hey, we haven't done this in a while. Let's go home and like take a shot and then continue about our day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, for old times' sake. For old times' sake, yeah, because we we did used to do this on Sundays pre-COVID. So this is now turning into Sunday Fun Day, which is kind of cute. So low key, C and I feel like we're mixologists up in here sometimes. So this Casamigos, actually, my homegirl Nikki bought this for my birthday. Thank you, Nikki. And. She has some frozen blueberries. What are you doing with those? And some dehydrated limes. Oh mm. my God. She has been dehydrating fruit lately. Everything. And it's hilarious. Everything. Cause I mean, she just can't stop. I mean fruit roll ups. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're doing, what? how are you doing I this? Chilled, no, that's why I already chilled the shots with some blueberry and some limes. Is this gonna go in the shot? It, it was already, it's already in the shot. That's what the shot is. Oh. That's how I showed it. Okay, so there's the essence of the blueberry and lime yes. in the shot. Yes. Oh, you fancy, huh? You know it. You would make a good bartender, babe. You know what? I, I still got some time left. Maybe in my 40s. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Oh, this is our fridge, y'all. <laughs> Just so y'all know. On the side of the fridge, I have letters from my mom. My mom likes to write me letters. And I actually need to write her a letter back. I wrote her a letter. I'm mailing it today. She wrote her a letter a few I, months ago that she's mailing today. I never mailed it. <laughs> and so, the, the, five months coming. And this is our fridge with our magnets. And the magnets represent the different places that we've been to. And the best places that we've been to as well. I don't know what he cares about that magnet. I'm just saying. If anyone has been to... University of Maryland College Park. Go Terps. No, thank you. If you went there, you, Go don't, you don't have to align with Go that. Go Terps. Anyway, I love this picture. This is like one of our favorite pictures. You know why? Because this is a picture of me and C's first like couples trip. Before I almost died. Oh my god. That was a that was we a went good. parasailing and oh, it was a great time. That was a scary time. And all these other magnets are just other places we've been to either together or individually. So favorite place? That we've been together, Thailand. For sure. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my God. We haven't taken a shot together in so long. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I'm a little taller than you. Oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> my little fake ponytail. She swear she's so much taller than me. You're well, like five six. I'm like two. It's literally like two. I'm five three. Two but... above you. <laughs> like. <laughs> Okay, come on, let's take this. So we're going to Marshall's after this. Yes, this what is we... take two because Gladys lost uh, or slightly spilled most of her shot before we could uh, even take this because she was being a baby and that's where I chased her. So <laughs> here's cheers to not needing a chaser anymore. Wait, I still need a chaser. I know. We're hoping that you won't need it in the future. It's fennel and uh, pineapple juice. A great chaser. Is it a great chaser? It's a solid chaser. I just haven't had a shot. Ooh, that's a uh, licorice. Ooh. You tasted licorice? Ooh, with alcohol? I didn't taste it. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. That tastes just like licorice. Are y'all familiar with fennel? So you know some people um when they eat um cilantro, mm -hmm. they the t it tastes like soap. So there are certain people when they eat star and niece, it's like there's certain, I feel there's like this weird thing of like certain people have different taste buds. Also, I think it's Asian people who, uh, it tastes like soap. A lot of Asian people taste like soap. That's Benita used to taste like soap. I'm going to take So apparently C said we should take one more shot before we hit the road and go to Marshall's. Yeah. Apparently she's trying to make this a drunk shopping trip. I don't so, know. What I was trying to explain to Maisons is, so to make sure that we have adequate, you know, freedom within ourselves to showcase the you know what i mean the fabrics we need one to have the shots flowing and then two to have the proper equipment okay so i'm bringing well i'm not bringing I, i'm having some shots i'm bringing my little trusty dusty that's Don't cumbersome I babe we already got to carry the camera and my tripod and the tripod, because apparently this is what C learned when she was as an influencer. Yeah. You learn that you can't you can't be afraid to have your equipment out, you know, show, showcasing that you're out you're out here to do real work. Because scared man don't make no money. <laughs> now we're going to my favorite place in the world, Marshalls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
and I are both equally assessed at Marshalls, so it's so easy for us to get lost in the midst of all this craziness. So I'll probably see you again in like another 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> So I am like a 13, 15. It depends on the jean brand. Um, let's see. I used to be an 11, but the way the 11 be fit me on the waist is not working for me anymore. So I'm gonna pick up. I love the stress jeans. Let's see. 13. Let's try these. Let's see if these are gonna be a go. And she is over there doing her own thing. I don't even know where she went. Look. Those mom jeans? I think so. Kind of like mom stress or something. They look um large. They also look like they may be straight down. Like I don't know if they accommodate curves. But but, but also this area is also supposed to be forgiving. So maybe that's oh that's that's the part I don't like the crotch. The crotch area. I need the weight. I need the weight. It's, it's to be long bigger. crotch. So there's some young men stuff on this side. There's nothing over here. That's also why I'm like, you gotta help me. So there's young men's stuff on this side. Then it's sweatpants, jackets, and like workout gear. But then like the button up shirts over there. And they have some slacks and some, I guess, pants. But I don't know what I want. All right, let's go that way. Which way? Do the cart. Out of the young men's section. Where we show the pants and button ups. Pants and button ups are over here. This is the section I usually stay in. Oh, I'm cheap, so I stay in the clearance section. <laughs> There's nothing else over here. Okay, come through. I already looked. I'm not wearing. No. No, no. That's a large. See? And that's also why I like this section. Yeah, we shouldn't be in a large part. I'm saying this is a mix. And everything else is like small, medium, medium. And these are small. None of these are cute. Yeah. So that's it. These are jackets. But I'm like, you know I wear some stuff like this. Absolutely not. You not know look. And some members I, only jacket. I know you love SpongeBob. And, and yes, I, I see it's members only. I would wear this. And it has, like, there's lining. I get why you would wear it. There's lining. I would so wear this. I'd wear this right now. I actually picked up some Spongebob stuff for you down there. I was like, I wonder if she likes those pants. Look, on the bottom. Yeah, I see Spongebob. Yeah, what size are these? They're large. Yeah, okay, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I like these. See those Spongebob. I love Spongebob. Look at his face. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you sound like Spongebob? <laughs> I love Spongebob. Spongebob. I love Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Hey, oh, um, Sp Space Jam. Oh. Moon Squad, yeah. Come on and slam. Hey, welcome to the jam. But now I got new songs. Oh, uh, 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 With the old songs, the best songs. Yeah, this this section is pretty dismal. This is all I do here. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm done shopping. That's why I say in the next section. I always get some candles and like sunflower seeds. Okay, yeah. This and, section and almonds. <laughs> and almonds. That's all I get. So what did you get from the knickknack section? 
So, I came in here a couple days ago and found one of these. Mm -hmm. I assume it was some in the back. So, I came in today and now I have two. <laughs> and when you find one thing at Marshall's, yeah. it's infamous for that shit not reappearing. Exactly, exactly. So, people like me are like, okay, so let me just peruse the section and try to find some other ones. A. Oh, wait, copyright. Oh. <laughs> and then. I'm, a, I'm trying on this health kit. Hearts of Palm! I'm, I'm on a health kit, so I'm trying to figure out. I love Hearts of Palm. So I'm hoping that this is really good. I'm hoping that the flavor's there, but I feel like it's going to be mostly whatever flavor I add to it. Exactly. And that's when it's going to pop out. Say, so we can get out of here. One, two, three, four. You don't need that one? So here we have a pair of jeans. These jeans are by, are these by Indigo? Right? I feel like I know this brand. Um, I like the way they fit. I like the way my butt looks in them. What do you think, babe? Yeah, it looks nice. The, the ankles look weird. Yeah, the ankle part is a little strange. You see that? It's very wide. Like, if it's going to be that wide, I just need it to go down to my ankles. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like and not be like three quarter pants. I mean, I could wear them with flats, but <sighs> that's just not my preference. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I love the way it fits up top. This is a size 13 in juniors, but the bottoms are a little funky. I don't know. Yeah, that's the size. These are 12 in women's. Okay. Again. I'm having the same issue. What's that? I'm trying to think if I feel better if I had heels on. Okay. Hmm. If we walked here with heels on, then we wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, these are another pair of jeans. Again, I wasn't, I thought they were going to be, um, like, not stretchy at all. They have some stretch to them. I'm feeling that. They fit so good. This size 12 up top here. And again, I like the way the booty is looking in the back. I It's like straight leg at the bottom, but it's still like a slight flare. I feel like these are jeans that I'd wear with heels. And I probably feel better or with like some fancy flats. What do you think of these, babe? Mm -hmm. I'm not liking the flare. There's, there's a, a curve up the top too. It's kind of weird where your thighs are. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, I just want if they're gonna do this, I just want them to go straight down. Like. And the pants are called the straight. They're called the straight. Like, why aren't these straight legs like touching my heel? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, like right up this way. I'm cool with that, but I don't know, y'all. So yeah, I would wear a sweater like this. I actually would wear a darker sweater. Yeah, you're right with this but i still think it's cute the cream with the nude monochrome i think that looks 
pretty good. This sweater is a size medium and it's also $19.99. I'm here for this. And I have these really super cute flats from Amazon that I would wear these with. Yeah, so I like this a lot. All right, y'all. So here is a lounge set. As you can see, <laughs> the lounge sets come attached like this. So seems so like, oh, let me get another pair. So I'm wearing a large at top and a large at the bottom. Honestly, I wish I could just get the large as an extra large because you see here, like, it's it's really tight. I want them to fit a little bit looser. They fit, but it's just not the, I just want a looser fit. So, yeah, it's not bad. I think it looks super cute. Like, I would still get this. Actually, I'm going to get it because the, the mauve color, I'm here for. What do you think, babe? I like it. You like it? It looks good. Thank you. That's what I like to hear. All right, y'all. This is like this cute bubblegum pink sweater. So you just pointed out to me that actually some of the knitting is coming loose in the back there. So there's that. I think it's cute, but not enough for me to actually get it. I kind of don't want it to be a crop sweater. I just want it to be like a regular length sweater. It feels good. Cute sweater. And I also like when the sleeves stop a little short here because normally I like to wear watches and I like when my watch can just be exposed. You, you don't wear a watch and then you have the same problem with your ankles. I said I like to wear watches though. So I'm saying but you don't wear a watch and then it's kind of, it's, you know what I mean, it's just... Girl! Oh. Okay. Okay, so having a white button up in your closet is a must. It's a staple piece. Just like everyone should have a black dress, you should always have a white button up shirt because there's so many different ways you can wear it. So right now, I'm rocking it with the buttons open, tied up here with these jeans. The jeans that I'm not buying, but I have other jeans I can wear this with. And I like the oversized look, especially when I roll up the sleeves here and cuff it. I just think it looks super cute. And Janet Jackson wore her button ups like this in that one video. You said he wouldn't last. We have to prove him wrong. Cause I know in the past that love will never do without you. Ooh, ooh. Love will never do without you. you, you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm feeling especially with some, if you wore some like, bright orange heels or green or any just any like neon color with this this looks so fire all right y'all this is the last item i have this cardigan it feels really good on me it's a nice weight like it's not super thick but it's also not super thin either you can tell the quality is there loving the pockets it's all my fellow teacher bays you know we love that i could fit my phone in there or markers or any random items i need this is cute I know this is not an outfit I would wear to school, but you know, I'm here for this one. Let me know what y'all think about this haul. If you're enjoying this, make sure you like the video. What up? Owe me back like you owe your tax. 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 Owe your tax. Owe me back like you owe your tax. Owe me back like you owe your tax. Owe me back like you owe your tax. Owe your tax. Owe me back like you owe your tax. Oh, it's time for work? No, this is for... Are you going to work? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Let that job go. This is also why I don't go to a Marshalls with Gladys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I'm not doing this with you again. It is a whole nother day.
<laughs> like the the stand mans have left. You wanna like, talk to the people? I'm just saying the streets are the streets are dim. People are out here. What's your name? Uh oh. Oh, okay, I thought that was a fight. <laughs> I was scared for a minute. <laughs> I, don't know what was about to I, thought, I thought it was about to be a fluffle. Oh. Yeah, man. It's definitely about that time to get our ass in the house. Nah, Columbia Heights is definitely a, a different different area when it gets a little light outside. I mean, it looks a little dark outside. I see by the time when I was walking and the boy was throwing bottles at me. Yeah! I was like, I turned around, I was about to come back, but he threw another one. I was like, all right, let me go. <laughs> I'm like, I what that was about. I literally, but he was drunk with just as, like the people who was hanging out with. But, yeah, man. All right, we'll check in when we get back home. Yep. So we absolutely did not check in when we got back home. <laughs> But I really hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Drop me some comments down below. You know I love when y'all talk to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.